What's going on everybody, Coach Malik here, and in this video, we are gonna go over foam roller for your back, and I'm gonna give you five, five exercises to help you open up your back, get out some kinks and some knots, and hopefully uh, the goal is to decrease and relieve some of the tightness and pain. So the first exercise here, as you can see, I am getting the uh, foam roller horizontal uh, in comparison to my body, and I am basically putting my mid back right on the foam roller and doing my best to keep my feet on the ground, my glutes, my butt on the ground, and I'm trying to extend my spine with my hands behind my back, trying to touch my hands on the ground as you can see. So I hold that for a few seconds, come back up, exhale, hold, and then repeat. And again, the goal is to get your hands on the ground. Now if they don't touch the ground the first time, no worries. But that's the goal is to try to get those hands touching that ground. And if not, just keep practicing. You'll get it in no time. The second exercise is the mid-back rollout. So this is where I actually lift my butt or my hips off the ground. And I start to push and pull with my uh, legs or my heels to roll out my back, to roll out some knots, to roll out any kinks that might be there or tightness because I'm sitting too long or maybe I slept wrong the night prior. Um, but these are great. I do these both, as you can see, I just switch my arms. So I, I hug myself and I roll out one way and then I relax, switch the arm that's on top, hug myself and then roll out even more. So I do that because I feel when I'm doing it, it, it does crack or it does pop or whatever that noise is what happens. Um, a little bit more uh, different muscles when I switch arms. So I switch arms. And also I think when you have uh, whichever arm is up, that lat is gonna get more rolled when you're going there. So try switching those arms. The next exercise is, I don't even know what this is called. I maybe might call this the pendulum or something, but I'm basically just lying on the foam roller, hands to my sides, and I'm trying to touch right next to my other hand while the lat is on my lat. So this is a great one to get your lats activated. You know, the muscles that we work when we do pull-ups. Um, that's a great one to do and then at, once I get them activated I go ahead and do this exercise where I roll them out get my glutes off the ground bring my hips up and I start to roll out my lat now if this is the first time you're ever doing it this exercise is gonna be so painful it is a very uh, it's a hard one to do because we never really roll out or stretch our lats when's the last time you remember stretching out your back um, so that one will hurt especially if it's your first time doing it um, but it's okay maybe you do the first one uh, with your hips on the ground and you're just doing the pendulum. Um, but this one, uh, the rollout is great. You're gonna feel a lot of relief and uh, tension released um, in those lats if you can do this one. So try this out. And then I believe the next one after this one, after the rollouts is, uh, and also a, a, a little tip while you're doing the rollouts is don't go too fast. You know, I see a lot of people go really fast with their foam roll. It's all about nice, slow, and steady. Right, slow and steady wins the race. Uh, wins the race of, of pain free. <laughs> so go slow and steady, and don't try to rush the foam roller because rushing the foam roller is not how we do it. Take your time, and those are the five exercises. And the bonus exercise I want to show you guys. Oh no, this is the fifth exercise. So this is the fifth exercise where I basically just align the foam roller on my spine, and I just breathe. This is a great one to do after a workout. A great one to do when you're stressed and your heart rate's high to bring that heart rate back down. This is a great exercise to do to kind of get a little bit more alignment um, in your spine and your back and just feel more aligned. I'm doing air shoulder presses here just to feel how my body feels when I'm moving in different directions. And again, trying to make sure that that spine is pretty aligned. And I do this for about maybe 20 seconds, 20 to 30 seconds. And then that's pretty much my foam rolling routine for my back, guys. Um, those were five exercises that I do. Um, could have been six, but I'll count it out and you guys will see on the title. But uh, I do those almost every day. Um, I do them after my workout. Uh, I used to do them before my workout. Maybe I'll start doing them bef before my workout. But usually when I get to the gym, I just want to kind of get after it. But those are great. Try them out. And here's a little bonus for you. I actually have a little bonus for you guys. So the bonus exercise here is not with the foam roller, but it is for your back. So you're gonna wanna just roll on the ground, just like I'm doing as you see here in the video. What this will do is it will activate your core and it will get some muscles uh, activated that's gonna help 
relieve some stress from that lower back. Um, so rolls are very uh, underrated. Try them out. If you like this video, guys, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel for more content in the future. And if you want to watch, if you want to see something different, maybe it's not fitness, maybe it's something else that you want me to do. Let me know in the comments down below. I'd be happy to experiment. You know, I'm trying to get back to these videos and these vlogs to get them out to you guys. Even though this wasn't a vlog style video, uh, this was more kind of like a um, one, two, three type video, like a bullet point video on foam rolling. But either way, I appreciate all you guys watching. If you've watched down to this far, comment down below in this video and say hi. I watch all the comments and I'll see you guys next video. Remember, be certain in yourself and be consistent in your actions because consistency is key. See you next time.